I've been good, man. I've been good. Um, yeah, it's good to hear you guys' voice. Yeah, the rain, hail, filmmaker in Hollywood. Uh, what, how's it been out there? Is, is it falling down yet? Or? Fun fact, I'm, I'm actually up in Sacramento right now. And uh, yeah, dude, it's weird. I mean, it's all really weird. <laughs> Yes, no, no, I actually don't. I, I would like to actually, I would like to say that as an excuse to why our movie's delayed, but uh, no, we don't really have that excuse. But because of it, I've been able to work more on my stuff because I've like, yeah, you know, it's like it's like when you have your own business, it's easy to do all the stuff you, you gotta do, but it's also easy to not do it or like to hang out or, you know, to go out to other events and stuff. But it's like when those things aren't actually happening, it's like, okay, I should just focus on, you know, my business, so. Um, yeah. yeah, so actually really exciting. Um, we submitted The Bachelor Party Episode 2 to Amazon Prime. And oh. yes, and uh, it is. it will be available. As soon as they approve it, it takes them like seven to 10 business days, give or take a week or two, you know? It's like um, to, to approve it and for it to all go through. But um, yeah, I'm actually pretty proud of this edit. It's uh, really fun, it's really over the top, super silly super goofy it puts the first one to shame in my opinion cool. um so so i'm excited about that cool cool and i, I did i saw too you said um about right here you saw on uh, youtube that um some people have ripped it off that's like the whole plot, like how does that work? No, 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 like no, like pe people uh, re-uploaded it. Like they take the video and then they re-upload it. But it's actually pretty cool because YouTube's gotten really good now at copyright stuff. So these writers on YouTube right now, like they basically come out with a whole list of all these other channels that basically, they're like these quote unquote free movie channels that are on YouTube that just, you know, upload full movies. Um, that aren't theirs on their channel, and then um, I can just copyright strike them, or or I can um, claim them. I can claim these videos, and uh, so that's a good thing. I mean, of course, it doesn't prevent all the other pirated websites that are that Rideshare is already on, uh, unfortunately. But but uh, yeah. yeah, but but I mean, but I think people like when they look for the legitimate one and the YouTube one or the Prime link shows up, like they'll look at that one versus the pirate one. So so, but I mean, it was a learning lesson. So I I know to like you know just go directly to prime first now don't go like we did the vimeo crap and uh, i don't want to talk about that that is the one detriment about prime versus uh like a youtube is that prime is only us and uk so um and youtube is global so it had been out on prime for about two years and views had kind of been dwindling so i'm like you know what i'm gonna post it on youtube and now there's kind of a bit of a resurgence it's, it's about 24 it's about 24,000 views um right now and i put it up i put it about two months ago yeah and about two weeks ago it was like two thousand views so now it's like twenty five thousand twenty four thousand so wow. yeah man yeah so it's it's growing talking about all the pirates and people ripping it off obviously you can find them because they're posting it on youtube like so have you messaged any of them and not gone at them Dude, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I filed multiple DMCA takedowns. Um, you had to file. Yeah, you, you, know, you mean the actual people like find their IP address? Yeah. Like, yeah, like email them and be like, I hope you burn hell, you motherfucking con, like shit like that. Like, yeah, I mean, it's that's just <laughs> that's the thing is like, there's so many. Like, once one thing is once one person does it and it's on one pirated website, it's pretty much on all of them. Like, there's on like you know, it's on. Uh, and then you take it down on one side, and then there's like a hundred other sites that are out there. So it's like I could spend my whole day, every single day, looking for, um, uh, looking for uh, people that have reposted. So yeah, it was kind of ironic. Like uh, the lead actor rideshare, since po since since we posted on YouTube, um, never shared the YouTube link or anything, or or told anyone that it was on it. But he just shared the uh, someone had pirated it on YouTube. Oh and they redubbed it a russian person redubbed it in russian like <laughs> it's actually kind of kind of flattering and kind of cool they they put they put in all this effort to like dub the whole the whole movie and every characters like guys and girls characters um and but yeah but like it's you know they literally talk over the english people so it's like rucka rucka ali talking so you hear him talking but then you hear the russian rucka rucka ali talking I want to hear Russia, Russia, Ali. <laughs> Russia, Russia, Ali. <laughs> so. Can you believe it, Malish? Какая разница? 
Прошу прощения. Я должен вытащить кое-что из багажника. Да вода! Сьюзи, из-за воды живот болеть не может. Dude, it's like the thing is, if you know what's really ironic is that if these people were were to be like, hey, would it be okay if I dubbed your movie in Russian? I would say, yes, that's totally cool. To get it translated is 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 a ton of money and you know a decent amount of money. And then uh, but then dubbing would be like, you know, um, like translating is like a few hundred dollars to do it properly, and then like dubbing would be. You know, a few thousand dollars. You know, so that all adds up. And... Well, this would be like, yeah, it would be something you would probably want. And yeah, uh, just to get the movie out there to another audience, yeah, that would be great. But yeah, and you would be okay if just somebody just reached out to you. Like, yeah, I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, if they reach out to me, and if it was like just on like a Russian site, and if there was a way that I can actually, if I can, you know. I could even sh I, I would actually be down to share revenue with them even you know if there was a way that I could that I could make money and even they can make money from it you know like dude I, yeah I mean I would rather that versus them just like steal it and just post it you know yeah, exactly Exactly. What, uh, Tremaine, though, with all the movies being put on hold and theaters down and all, have you seen any recent, uh, you know, releases of even just Hollywood films? The last movie I think I saw in the well, I saw it in the drive-ins. It was uh, Onward, the movie Onward, like the computer animated one. Um, yeah. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it, trailer, but like, it felt, felt like too long. Like I yeah. saw it for like three or four years. It didn't appeal to me at all. But. Yeah, I know. I saw it because, well, the person I was with what wanted to see it so um yeah so but it, it was okay i mean it's like you know it's a it's a computer animated film it was all right but yeah that was like the most recent one but i, I have been watching like um other netflix show like i rewatched the back to the future trilogy uh which is cool um oh yeah yeah we were talking about that yeah and like i remember hating the third one i really didn't like the third one and then i rewatched it i'm like oh dude this is actually really good i, I liked it like, that's what i did the last summer because my kids had never seen any of them so i introduced them they're 12 and 13 so yeah they watched it for the first time and i can tell they weren't i think it's like being younger they weren't into the third one as much but i'm watching i'm like this is yeah that is interesting because like for, yeah me as a kid when i first saw it i really did i didn't like the third one but but i really liked the first two but then as an adult i i, I liked them all you know yeah. um yeah that that, that, that's that like one and two were kind of like similar very similar movies where like the third one was something completely different even, so even, like, had, uh, even the second one had part uh, of the first yeah. one in it so, but it's so much different so then like when you go see three you're like what is this this is in my back to the future yeah. <laughs> right <laughs> Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my whole gripe with it. Like as a kid, I'm like, oh, this is dumb. The stupid love story and the, that stupid woman. Like I really didn't like the lady in it, you know. But then I rewatched it. I'm like, she's actually fine. Like she's nice, you know. She and, and, it, and the love story isn't that prevalent in the movie either, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, you're right. I think that, that is it. it. That is interesting, man. That must be pretty cool seeing, like, you're kind of seeing these movies with fresh eyes, like, through their eyes, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, I do feel that. Like, I feel like they were um, just kind of avoiding, like, the, the, the scenes like that, uh, trying to grab their tablets or whatever. And, yeah, no, I can, I can see that. I can see that. Interesting. That's really interesting. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it is It is kind of... Um, kids these days you know but uh they have like you know ipads in their hands so it's kind of interesting seeing like how they interact with media and how they do you know movies and stuff um it is too like uh to see them actually put it down and watch a movie but you know that that movie is fire that movie is so good that they're not grabbing their tablets but you know when they're grabbing it it's, it's, it's not it's not old enough Wow, that's interesting. So, would you say that they're more like they're they're harsher critics versus like an adult that might still watch a movie if they're not, even if it's not that great, they'll still watch it. But for the kids, they have less of a tolerance, I guess, or attention span, maybe. Or I, I feel like, yeah, like cause even as an adult, I might even hope 
I might try to keep watching and hope it goes somewhere. But as a kid, I feel like, yeah, they're just gonna, they're yeah. watching out. They're, they're, they're on YouTube. They, they don't want that movie. The first five minutes of the get you. Yeah, I feel like they are the harsher, the harsher uh, crowd. Well, I want to know. I almost don't want to know what they would think of Rideshare. Like, is it's it's PD thirteen? <laughs> If it, I don't, I have a feeling it wouldn't hold their attention for some reason. I don't know. I, it wouldn't. I don't know. I feel like yeah. it's like I. I feel like it's a good movie, and uh, it's that kind of thing. Like I want to see where this this journey takes me. But yeah, I don't feel, feel like kids kids don't have that in them yet. That that is cool though. You know, it's they're I kind of like a test audience. Are they going to develop that as, as adults? Like I, it's crazy. We don't know. They're basically the first generation that has access to all that right yeah like yeah like we didn't have that and and i'm kind of glad that we didn't because my you know my attention span today is already like low enough you know uh have you guys had a chance to watch the bachelor party episode one yet no i did not uh but i would love to and uh definitely where is it available it's on youtube it's on youtube now so um yeah no no excuses but yeah that's definitely the perfect i think i, I was because i was re-watching the um the the last time I called in, uh, which is cool, and I also like like to see how I do on interviews. I'm like, oh, I can't believe I said that, or, or if I say like so many times or whatever. Um, yeah, I, but yeah, we were talking about it, and and yeah, the the drinking game. I was like saying that there's two rules. I'm like, there's only two rules, and I'm like, one, uh, drink every one, drink every time you hear the lifestyle, and then yeah. yes, and then and then two, and then I'm like, I completely blank out on the second rule. And then it's like, no, there, there doesn't need to be two new, two rules. There's only one rule. It's like anytime you say the lifestyle, uh, drink and, and you'll you'll be you'll be more than drunk by 15 minutes in probably. <laughs> so, uh, Thank you for making this little blast. We have to wrap it up, man. I can't believe. It. Oh man, short and sweet. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, yeah, appreciate it, you guys. Thanks a lot for having me on. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think if you when, if and whenever you guys get a chance to watch the Bachelor Party episode one. But watch out for it. Yes, but watch out for episode two because that's the real one to really watch uh, the next couple weeks. Okay. Awesome. Nice. Where can everybody find you, dude? Uh, at Tremaine Hayho is my personal one. At Hayho Studios, H A Y H O E Studios. That's on uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Check out YouTube.com/slash Hayho Studios, and that's that's kind of where to go. So. Um, awesome, man. Yeah, and the Bachelor Party episode two is coming on Amazon Prime this summer. Should be up within two weeks, so be on the lookout. Awesome, man. Thank you so much, Jermaine. All right, gentlemen. Thank you guys so much. Rob and Slim, talk soon, okay? Talk soon. Okay. Stay safe. Okay, later, guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye. You guys check out Rob and Slim's show. They post a lot on YouTube. They got a bunch of segments. They got a lot of cool, interesting guests. A lot more to come. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. Uh, if you guys want to subscribe, please subscribe to say more, to see more, to say more, to do more, to be more. Thank you guys so much. Tremaine Hayhoe here. See you later.